Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. It's your show. Hello. I am going to do another uh, single stem loom. It's a simplistic single stem. But tonight, I am going to be using these chameleon colors. I got them from Amazon. I don't even know if they're available anymore, but I will check and put that in the description. So this one's like a purpley chameleon, and then this one's a little bit more teal. And um, so these are, they're just gorgeous. I mean, I don't know if you could pick up the, uh, wow. I mean, the shimmer is just unbelievable. They come in different colors, but I got these because I like, you know me, I like my blues. So, yeah, just gorgeous. So, yeah, those are gonna be the star of the show. This is also another one. Now this is from Solar, Solar, what is it? Solar Color Dust. They're expensive, guys, way too expensive. Had I known that this is all you get for like 10 bucks, I never would have gotten them. But hey, you know, I'll do anything for the sake of um, experiments. So this one is like an interference color, which almost looks like a velvet from TLP which they're a lot cheaper. And then this is Amsterdam Permanent Violet Red Light and TLP in Ore. And those are my colors. And I'm gonna try not to put too much paint. So, oops, that's the wrong, wrong one. This is the Bloom Base, it's the Glidden um, with the GAC 800. Pouring that on, it's probably way too much. We'll see. All right, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do the bloom this way or this way. I don't know, do you guys ever um, hang your pictures diagonally? I have and I really like it, but I don't know if the rest of the world does. Um, I just love it, I really do. All right. Um, okay, and guess what? We have a new hair dryer. <laughs> it's called Berta. Berta, I kind of like it. It's it's a travel dryer. It's, the low is low, low enough, and it's got a cool shot button. So it was relatively inexpensive. The other one, I swear, it was uh, one of those baby Hueys, and I think it um, it started to deteriorate, the plastic did, and some of the plastic got into the motor. So anyhow, it sounded a lot worse than it was, but man, all right, so I'm going to go, I think I'm gonna go diagonally. So I'm gonna put this down first. Then the purpley one. And then the interference. And then the teal colored one. And then the gold. And I'm going to hit it with two different um, cell activators. One is Permanent Violet Dark Amsterdam. The other one's Permanent Violet Light, which is the same color as this. Um, but I just, I like the way it looked. I did a test tile and it looked pretty cool. So, how do we wanna do this? Yeah. Just gonna do a little semi-circle. Oh, I probably put too much of that on. That purple is really strong. So, good luck. <laughs> All right, here we go. Trying out the new dryer. 
and I might have to, well, so I might have to switch it to high, depending on, um, you know, because I was working on tiles before, I wasn't working on this bigger thing here. So here we go. So pretty. Oh, I love it. Oh, I gotta figure out how to hang this suck this guy up. You know, I might have to move so that it's over. I have so many pigments. I have so much so much stuff. Just lots of lots and lots of stuff. There we go. That's perfect. It fits right in there. But it doesn't stay. There we go. Guys, what do you think? Ooh, ooh. Oh, I love the colors. I love, love, love the colors. So I did do a couple of test tiles with different colors and I came up with this one as my winner. So I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah. when I have too much paint on because then the whole thing just flies right off. This is a Da Vinci 12 by 12 um, birchwood um, panel, wood panel. All right, I'm just going to leave it like that because I hate when there's like paint everywhere. All right, so let's make a stand. I like that it's like this too, I really do. And I'm so grateful that Nikki came up with this. This is just oh, such a cool technique. You likey. Oh my Atlanta. center. Oh, guys, I'm just loving it. Where do I want to? It's kind of hard to decide if I want to do anything with it. I'm going to spin it out and then see what else I want to do after. Here we go. So hope, I don't want it to just, I want to leave it just like it is. <laughs> There's too much paint on there. Let me just pull this down a little bit. All right, here we go. I am in love. Such softness. I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Off center. Can't wait to get you guys down to, so you can see what I'm seeing. Stop. I'm really 
liking this Glidden with the GAC 800. It's a Karen thing, Karen Duration. I'm taking her class in, in uh, Dallas in November. I'm so excited. And um, yeah, this stuff dries really well. Wow, guys, do I want to do anything else to it? It's kind of cool. Look at that t -t 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 wave. Yeah, those baby Huey, or the, I think they're called baby Huey, I'm not sure. The Huey, I think they're called baby Huey. Even though, <laughs> I know that one blow dryer, the one dryer that I just chucked was called baby Huey too. But um, yeah, it's, they're not that expensive. They're $10. They're like, maybe less, they're not quite half the size. This is Baby Huey. So yeah, they're a lot less. This is a little piggy. So you get a lot more for your money with Little Piggy, but these are um, remarkable as far as the chameleon. I am so happy with this. Um, wow. Very watercolor looking. Looking. All right. I don't have. Oh yeah. I guess it. We're slipping into darkness. Yeah. <laughs> it's still light outside, so I <laughs> don't know if I'll be able to get you a, a really good um, lights off flash on. Kind of want this a little bit thinner. Okay, that's enough. Stop playing. Guys, I am really, yeah. And I like that it's like that too. I would hang it like that. Let me know what you think. Let me know, what, how, you, how would you hang it? I mean, it could go like that. It could go, but I think I like it better like this. And I have several pieces in my house that are hung on the diagonal. Okay, I'm gonna take you down for a close-up. All right, guys, here it is. And you'll see what I mean about those um, chameleon colors. They are special. Right there. Look at that. They mix really well with the other colors. They played nice. Look at that, that is just gorgeous. I love that color combination right there. So there you can see the color shift in it. It's an amazing color shift. It's not anything like I've seen before. And look at me. <laughs> You've got all those little cells and lacing with the color shift in it. Now, this is like my favorite part right here. 
just the blending of the colors and the softness here. And there's the ore. These are so much fun to do. I could stare at this all night, but I might make more. Look at the, <laughs> that is just, I mean, it looks like watercolors. It really does. So cool. All right, guys. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ciao for now.